this is KR Brickbot, and and I'm not usually the one to cover the Chinese original Transformer brands because there are so many Korean Transformer brands already. It's just it's hard to spend extra more on Chinese original obscurities unless they have some relation to a Korean brand. In this case, I'll be looking at some dinosaur robot transformer Chinese IP franchise brand. Directly translated was Dragon Blast Chariot, but it's been localized in a few Asian countries as Dino Trainers. Because this entire Chinese original franchise is all about dinosaurs, and it seems to have took off since its inception in 2020, but the earliest designs were a little too derivative of Korean Toy Rock. I admit there's always going to be derivatives of robots and dinosaurs, but then the third season that was just all about dinosaurs but as tops. That season was imported to Korea as Monster Top, and so only a part of this Chinese franchise made it into Korea as a franchise just based on tops and not just dinos. It was a really weird evolution for the two years of its four seasons of this toy line. And then organic Transformer dinosaurs and then robot tops and then four season, the first half of 2021, mechanical robot transformers. So I got a sampling of the main DX toys, like the large standard size toys. On sale from Sir Toys, I would have liked to get the other smaller versions with some of the exclusive characters. But of course, these look so good that the others sold out before I could get them and I'm just not bothering with a wish list right now. So for now, just these four. The first one, the most popular color and type of character. And I think the name basically translated to Fire Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, going really creative with the names there. Apparently, it's the same character as this one. Yep, it just went from an organic Tyrannosaurus to a mechanical red, fiery red Tyrannosaurus. If you question how a tiny little baby organic design dinosaur mutates into a giant organic dinosaur, which in turn transforms into a robotic dinosaur, and then later that evolves into a big robotic mechanical dinosaur, which, and then later that tiny little baby organic Tyrannosaurus turns into a fire-breathing tiny baby tiny Tyrannosaurus, and then that evolves into a giant completely mechanical robotic dinosaur which transforms into a tiny robot. You're just not following the rule of cool. This is just some digivolving funsies. I mean, I think it follows the modern Tyrannosaurus interpretation, just laterally straightforward, maybe a little too straight. I mean, that head is directly straightforward and uh, there's really not much articulation. I mean, there is some, but you can't articulate it downward. So maybe, yeah, just... This just looks like a maybe a little bit of a more agile style Tyrannosaurus, I guess. As the other articulation goes, a little bit of head wiggle here, a little bit of jaw here. A little bit of the tiny T-Rex arms here. Nose outwards, so these are kind of thin hinges, which could break if some kids are not aware of it, so uh, watch out for that. Legs go forward. Legs go backward that much. Yeah, just because these are the same legs. But unusually, the tail has a side to side. Yeah, they're usually just straightforward or just up and down. But I guess due to transformation, it does have a little bit of a diagonal side to side. So that's nice to see for a little Robo Tyranno. I guess the head and the legs are interestingly sculpted enough with like these heel spikes. But I guess the torso areas might be a little underwhelming. Well, not that it's too much of an issue. Maybe except if for these arms, these very obvious robot arms and robot hands, because these things aren't falling away. But that's not much of a... That's just a nitpick. Not too much of a deal. Yeah, it's just a robo Tyrannosaurus. Transformation. The dino legs are the robot leg style of T-Rex. Untap these little arms from the back of this pelvic area and turn it around 180. Lift them out. Shoulders up. The side leg hinges for spreading out the legs, just push them in. Split the T-Rex head. Turn that head around. 
And then take the back tail fin and then clip that in. On this little tab here. This tab to this hole. In theory. Yeah, but it's not that much of an issue. It, this thing holds up pretty well on soft ratchets and split the tail. Fire Tyrannosaurus robot mode. For a kid's dino transforming robot, it's looking very anime-esque. As in, it has a lot of dynamic angles. Just very angular. Just all sorts of hard diagonal angles. Especially those the jittergrade legs and the split tail that forms a really dangled kibble and then the horn. Kinda Evangelion evoking. Both modes have the same color scheme, just primarily red, uh, white, and black and gold throughout. Yeah, I guess I like the simple slope chest of the gold there, the gold accents there, and the retaining dino feet, and the back heel spurs, and the plane on the back. And it is one of those dino hit styles that just splits right across and then forms the shoulders, although they're more to the back of the actual shoulders. It's also anime-esque in its style of pronounced pelvic area. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's the lower area is just really out there. It really looks like a shoot, especially with the black painted innard. Yeah, it looks like there's something that just rolled down right out of it. Our articulation goes. The anime style head with that beaked faceplate, it could swivel all the way 390 if the kibble wasn't in the way. Speaking of which, the kibble has like a double hinge here, like one L hinge here, and a little mushroom peg for the dino head here, and then the neck for the actual dino head, so you could just collapse it in, I guess. Or just spread them out, or then turn them around. Arms on really soft ratchets for the backward. If not for the cable, it could go all the way around. Very nice clicky outwards, two clicks. Little backwards and a little more than 90. Little less than 90 there. Elbows a nice clickety ratchet that goes a little less than 90. You could kind of stress it there, but it's not meant to, and a little backward. No bicep or wrist, but it is completely 5 millimeter. It does kind of make up for it for its transformational arms and word shoulders. Also nicely ratcheted. Yeah, so you could flex without bicep swivels, although that goes all the way forward, so I could but at least there's that. It could have a waist swivel if not for this. Very dynamic tail kibble. Yeah, that's also very clicky. Yeah, so there's a trade-off between looking cool and looking functional. Hips, not that much outward. Like almost 90 degree overall and then uh, completely straightforward and uh, not much back because back flaps, permanent back flaps. And the knee that is a little too soft for soft ratchets. It's kind of weirdly angled. Almost 90 degrees. And then a little bit of a side ankle rocker. Yeah, moderately articulated without any thighs or biceps. It looks like the T-Rex Protag's companion bot is this fire train. Story-wise, for what you can see, it's the sentient summoning, not mech card style car, given a new form. Yep, so it's a style of bullet train. With some jagged patterns here, I guess it kind of subtly evokes dino teeth. Little painted side details here, and some windows, some molded in windows in the mostly black. Some implied wheels here, and there's uh, two sets of actual wheels. Uh, yeah, these don't quite roll, but these spin very nicely. Yeah, so it is pretty symmetrical on both sides. 
Yeah, so there's a there's the windows continuing along here. Eeky branded train. Yeah, but it's not so clean with that just that big trapezoidal lump on the right on top of the train. Doesn't look like it's very practical for clearing tunnels. Such is the nature of very long train transformers because a good bulk of the robot has to go somewhere. Dang it, white paint damage in transit. Of course, in vehicle mode, it is very long. And scale-wise, I guess this scales, but, but for train transformers, most of the time, the train scale is completely irrelevant. Transformation requires two ends of parts forming. Only these two, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, just take this entire block and you reveal the entire robot top. Flip out the head, chest up. Slide out, sliders. Feet down, little back heel struts. Not sure where the back cable goes. I guess like this. And then these train halves get slightly intricate. Just gotta pull this out. Fold that down. Fist out. Then those little panels in and then turn that around. I guess they could go on either side. Just make sure the arm and elbow is on the right way. The train shape lends itself to a pretty flat, but yeah, I guess a typical train robot. I mean, the two ends of the train forming the sh very broad shoulders is... Yeah, that's a nice style. Pretty blocky, streamlined train legs. Pretty thick arms. Just the big kibble back cover that really has nowhere to go. The new details in the chest, I guess that's slightly dino themed with like a ch golden chest that kind of looks like a maul, like teeth with a center hold, you know, just to peg this in. And then the head, I guess the gold antenna on the side kind of make it look like the flash, and then it's one of those jacket lip type of faceplate. Green eyes. I don't know, though the face looks a little flat for my liking. And a little small. As far as articulation goes, a full head swivel. Soft ratcheted, detachable ratcheted all around. It can go only inward due to how this transforms. Yeah, they just, the connector peg goes right between the middle. And this design does not allow any extra clearance for outward shoulder movement. So that's all you're getting. A lower bicep swivel. I think that's just for transformation and uh, no ratchet obtuse that much, only this angle. Which I guess could let the front end of the train steer exactly to the right and only to the right. Bizarrely, the hands are slightly bigger than 5mm. Also, these clipping tabs kind of get in the way of most stuff, so it'll be hard to get something in there. Nice clickety spread all the way out for train mode, and so that it can roll on these wheels. Lower thigh swivels, I mean upper thigh swivels. Nice obtuse knee, pretty clicky. And then the very slight bit of ankle tilt. Feels like there's a slightly bit more going this way than the other way. Or just about the same. I guess the transformation will toe in and then the heel here too. But no forward or backward. This is all solid. I guess just for train stability. But the fact it can only walk like this is a little disappointing. The secondary lead character, the Triceratops. Yep, it's a very mechanical Triceratops, unlike an organic Triceratops, which has remained yellow since the very beginning. Still retains the analogous yellow and orange. Some nice black painted areas to break it up. Little bit of teal showing. Silver painted toes, like a simple articulation for the dino, like a 
this kind of a robot t articulation and the little toe articulation, but you can't, yeah, it's, this is sort of walking. The eyes are painted with pupils. Yeah, it looks like there's just a little bit of black to pick out the pupils. Which does give it a little more character, even though I'm not sure whether that's so accurate, but anyways. There's the iconic Triceratops horns that are cast in soft, transparent plastic rubber. As with the back fins. Rubber, for safety. And also, that also makes it less fragile, you know? Nice spiked tail with a little club at the back. This is unintentional, but I guess how the way this transforms, if you extend this double hinge here, you can give it a side by side tail. Yeah, so that's some extra tail articulation. Transformation goes. Detach. Those legs are not intentionally kibbly for me. They're just detachable for safety, I guess. Yep, flip out. Flip out those uh, and the back heels. Split the Triceratops head. Flip those out to reveal the robot fists. And uh, grab the tab on his head to flip it up. Split the tail, then plug it in the back here. Aesthetically, this doesn't go as hard as the T-Rex here. It is still very blocky, and then just uh, mostly, I mean, it is still angular, but I guess it looks just more blocked out. Yeah, there's lots of more straight edges. They're, they're, it's more straight. It's not so curved, dynamically curved. Yeah, it's very flat and straight style. Yeah, look, look throughout. It looks mostly flat. I mean, doesn't have too much of the stylish integration. I mean, well, the Triceratops head forming the actual shoulders instead of like shoulder decorations is slightly different, but maybe not as interesting. And you can see it has a lot more teal. And some transparent blue in addition to the transparent orange. Some nice color combinations of the teal and yellow. Although the transparent blue here uh, kind of blends in with the teal, so uh, maybe that's not the best color placement. I guess the head looks a little more bestial. Like with that forehead horn and the uh, little, little bit of a turtle-like, beak-like face with that lower blue section and sides here. Little ridge on the back, so... Kind of simplistic, but that, yeah, that's a more dino-style head. Complements a relatively simplistic chest. Yeah, just with that orange insert, that simple design chest insert. And the painted orange sides. Far as articulation goes, the full head swivel. Yeah, nice ratchety around. Bicep swivels are transformation and the really hard soft ratchet. Yeah, but they're mounted all the way to the back of the shoulders and not like naturally in the center because that's how it's connected in the dino mode. Also, the head is not completely off center, just to the back, so it's I guess just to make head clearance, which uh, doesn't mean it kind of has awkward proportions in the arms. Awkward placements, but I guess it doesn't look so bad if you look at it straight on. The hands are slightly too small for five millimeters. So inconsistent. Nice clicky ratchets all about. You had to bend the knee a little bit up to 90 to get it that far. And then the toe down, and the thigh swivel. Really nice ratchety thigh swivel, so this thing has the full range of articulation, the full range of basic articulation, including the both of these, so that's nice. And then that Triceratops companion, the Thunder Car.
Yep, it's a very dino style sports car. I mean, just it it goes pretty hard in the angles. We had like a hard angle there, hard angle in the hood. This orange crest center, which kind of looks like evokes the Triceratops horn. It's a pretty solid black piece with like it does kind of like a look like a scaled windscreen. Kind of took some hits there. And the silver plating really looks like it's reinforced, and these that kind of look like side view mirrors, but they don't really act like it. And some nice painted metallic red rims. That's something you don't see every day. Simplistic details. I mean, they're, they're kind of simplistic notches here and there. More silver plating. Transparent red across the side and the back. Yeah, that's tail lights that extend to the side. Also, the plating style, yeah, so that's unusual, and a pretty gappy back here for the legs, and little spoilers with some transparent red on top. Yeah, I guess this kind of looks like an armored car that both has speed and strength. It is a substantially big car of this scale. Might look a little toyetic compared to some more realistic takes. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I guess I define that by how high the hood is. Yeah, but that's a pretty good fictitious car. Transformation. Yep, split that out and gravity kind of automatically lets it fall down. Legs out. I guess the spoiler knees up. Feet out. Little bit of a panel here to form the heels. And the uh, wrist out. Well, that was a very simple and straightforward car transformation. Sometimes simplicity is good, I guess. So the colors of the vehicle mode are nicely spread out through the new details. And the addition to the orange shoulders, like... That is, that is, that is a very heroically muscular chest. Red pecs to the side, and the silver, and the robotic midriff abs. Transparent red crotch area. And a very small, I mean, it, it's a moderately sized windscreen backpack. It doesn't really get in the way of the function, so that's good. Guess that is a more of a robotic than humanoid style robot face, like with the all red with the silver faceplate painted on it. Red painted crest and silver sides. Not much dino styling here, but that's fine. Articulation goes full head swivel. Nice ratchety full 360s and ratchety inwards and the inner shoulder. Soft ratchet at 90 and the wrist in for transformation. Very nice ratchies. Not far in the back. There is a little bit of a butt. No, not even. I think there's just a stopper in there. Unusual. Full spread. Ratcheted thigh sizzles. And all the way in for that kind of fold over transformation. And toe down. Yep, for a car that simply transforms by entire back half flipping forward. And then the sides of the car forming the lower arm seeming. It's the very simple basic articulation, yeah, but at least it all has nice ratchets, so it sounds good to pose. <laughs> so after three seasons, the fourth season came, came with something that's more interest the uh, Transformer robot collector. Just full-on mechanical-style dino theme Transformer robots. Yeah, sure, I'm very late into the game, and I don't even have the whole collection, because I only got these when Sir Toys had them on sale, and I failed to get the other ones on sale, so 
these are the only four of that season and subline they have right now. So of this small collection they have, obviously I think this one is the best looking, you know, these unique aesthetic I said, and then this is the most functional, like for articulation. Uh, this looks pretty good, and uh, this one is the most limited. These do also come in a smaller size, and somehow the other two main dino characters are only in the smaller size. And of course they do another popular thing with toys sold separately in two sizes. Oh yeah, and Iki also has a thing where you can get a limited edition chrome version from an app if you purchase all four of a set through a Chinese app and some verific verification sticker. It's right on here. Valid for one year from its release. Uh, yeah, I got too lazy, missed out on it. Yeah, it's been well over a year, but I think they're still available, but I, mean, I think I should get them soon before they're hard to get and sold out. For a Chinese kids franchise all about dinosaurs, for the two or so years it existed, I think this is their peak. And the dino robots continued into the next season, which also has a very interesting relation with Korea. 